I'm meteorologist John Dawson. This is the Fox 26 tropical update just for YouTube. Glad you found us here and uh, we're here every day a little bit after 4 p.m. to give you the latest on the tropics, whether that's a slow day or a busy day. And if you've been checking in recently, you know we've got Dawn that's out there in the middle of the Atlantic and Dawn has been spinning around in circles currently a tropical storm. I'm going to focus and talk more extensively about Dawn because it finally is ready to start doing something besides going around in a circle. So we're going to again talk a little bit more about Dawn in a minute. I want to start focusing on what might be a little bit more of a concern as far as land areas are focused on with uh, what is newly been labeled as Invest 95 L. So this is certainly a spot that the National Hurricane Center has been watching over the last several days, uh, but now getting a little bit more formal in its pursuit of what it could become giving it that official label of Invest 95 L. And so that means it's not a named storm yet. It's not a depression yet. It's not even really a tropical cyclone yet, but it is certainly a spot that the Hurricane Center thinks has the potential of becoming a cyclone and officially they're giving it some numbers as well. So over the next two days, a 40% chance that it would develop into a tropical cyclone and over the next seven days, a higher chances at about 60%. So at this point in time, I I'm feeling pretty confident that we're going to end up with some kind of a tropical cyclone here, whether it's a depression where it gets the number or if it is the uh, storm, a tropical storm where it gets the next name on the list. Uh, this is again an area that I think will continue to have some opportunity for develop. So it's got a few things working against it. It's got a few things working for it. And so we start with kind of the against it sort of thing. Do you notice there was a break in some of this uh, Saharan dust? This is a future cast product looking on where the dust is headed. This is that area where the dust is a little bit weaker. That's the area where Invest 95L is right now. It's going to continue to progress along. So if it was a little further to the west already, then it would be in much thicker Saharan dust, which would prohibit not completely stop it from the developing, but it would definitely deter it from developing. And then a little bit further back to the east there again is some very thick uh, area of, of that dust. So I'm going to go ahead and call this sort of a negative and helping it progress because the dust is not good, but it happens to be in a good spot overall as far as where it's located. Now it's a little bit further to the north than the warmest waters where the Atlantic are. The further south the, that you go closer to the equator, you're going to have that closer, that warmer water. But 80 degrees is going to be warm enough to develop into something tropical for sure. And this is that again, sort of that area. Upper level winds is the other thing that it's going to have to fight through just a little bit in its development overall. But as I said, I, I do think we're going to end up with a tropical cyclone overall. All right, in the topics of tropical cyclones, here's Dawn, uh, and we've been watching it for this is the last 12 hours of what Dawn has been doing. It's been a tropical storm. If you'll remember correctly, it started as a subtropical system and then it de formally uh, developed its mechanics correctly as far as the way it was uh, sort of heating itself and driving itself where it could be called a tropical cyclone and had that tropical uh, storm name given to it. So tropical storm Dawn currently with maximum sustained winds at 60 miles an hour. So that's a pretty strong storm. Again, we're thankful and it's good that it's just sitting right out here in the Atlantic and now it's finally ready to kind of break off from its little spiral that it's been in and Fortunately, we like the direction that it's going to be heading, going to start off heading to the northwest uh, in the overnight hours on Friday and in most through most of Saturday. By the time we get to Saturday afternoon, probably even going to increase in strength a little bit. I wouldn't completely rule out the possibility that Dawn could even become a hurricane. It's a little bit of a stretch, but I think it, it's within the realm of what could happen here. Uh, big stays a tropical storm most likely though, and then starts to move to the north and you know the waters are always cooler the further north you move. So this is now some areas that's not going to help its development at all. It's going to weaken it for sure. Winds drop down to 45 miles an hour, probably becomes a depression and then continues to move off to the north and move off into those less favorable conditions for further development. So we'll keep an eye on things. Finally, also one other thing to note here, you know, Don hasn't had a, a quick movement. It's been less than 10, mi 10 miles an hour or less as far as the, the storm itself's movement. We're getting to see a little bit more speed 
eight here. And then as you notice, these markers, these icons are a little further apart. So that means it's going to increase in its speed overall. But the latest on dime, uh, 60 mile an hour winds uh, going to continue to uh, increase in strength a little bit more. And again, maybe even the possibility that it would become a hurricane, but I, I think it's probably going to stay a tropical storm. Next name on the list is Emily. So if that uh, first system that we were talking about, that Invest 95L does become a named storm, Emily is going to be the next one on the list. We'll be kind of keeping an eye out for that. I know everybody likes to kind of keep up, keep track with the names and where we are. We've had four named storms so far. Hey, it's great that you found us here on YouTube. Got the tropical update. If you want to follow me on some other social media, it's fantastic. Instagram is a great place where I use for hurricane preparedness segments. So look that up if you get the opportunity. Our tropical updates continue over the weekend every day of hurricane season. So I'll be back on Saturday and Sunday a little after 4 p.m. Central Time to give you the latest on Dawn as well as that Invest 95L to seeing how it's developing if it were to become a named storm. So we look forward to you having you check back in with us again tomorrow.